successful people are not those who never faced any problems but those who did not allow themselves to be defeated and persisted in the face of problems till the solution was reached one such successful person has been the most popular indian president till today dr apj abdul kalam astonishingly this immensely successful person had exceedingly humble beginnings his father was a boatman in the southernmost tip of india where he used to ferry passengers from rameshwaram to dhanushkodi abdul kalam was the youngest of five siblings and he did his schooling in the pilgrimage town of rameshwaram he was not an outstanding student but what distinguished him was his dedication to studies there was a free mathematics tuition available at 3 am in the morning for which abdul kalam would go and after that to earn some money he used to distribute papers as a young man he landed a scholarship to the madras institute of technology from where he did engineering in aeronautics on completion he received two job interviews the first was from the indian air force and the second from the ministry of defense he reached dehradun for the air force interview out of 25 candidates eight were selected abdul kalam was the ninth the reality dawned upon him and shattered his heart that his lifelong dream of being an aeroplane pilot would never materialize he realized he would have to reconfigure the map of his life and for inspiration he went to rishikesh where he met the president of the divine life society swami shivanand swami shivanand said that his destiny would be known to him in due course and could not be revealed in the present he instructed him to intensify his desire and to make it extremely pure he explained that in the face of a pure and intense desire the universe aligns its forces to fulfill it swami shivanand suggested to the young abdul kalam to take wisdom from the bhagavad gita he went and joined the ministry of defense its newly formed wing called drdo in 1952 he was one of the few selected scientists to go and get training from nasa in usa the us government was so impressed by this young scientist they offered him american citizenship and 20 times the salary he was receiving from the drdo but being a true and true patriot abdul kalam had no difficulty in rejecting that lucrative offer and decided he would rather serve his country in 1969 As a member of the ISRO Indian Space Research Organization Abdul Kalam was put as the in charge for the satellite launch vehicle project In 1979 the first SLV launch was a failure and Abdul Kalam feared coming in front of the media of the country The chairman of ISRO Dr Satish Dhawan came before the media and boldly announced that Dr Kalam's team is of topmost quality and within a year they will achieve success Those words came true in the year 1980 the SLV3 launch was a grand success Again Dr Satish Dhawan came before the media and gave the entire credit to Dr Kalam's team of his boss Dr Abdul Kalam said 
We can learn from everyone how to handle success. But how to handle failure, I learned from Dr. Satish Dhawan. In 1982, the belligerents of India's neighbors, China and Pakistan, had increased and thereby the threat from them. A task force was formed and the integrated guided missile mission was launched with Dr. Abdul Kalam as the head. Until the year 1985, they succeeded in making many kinds of guided missiles first the trishul then the prithvi and then the akash finally they needed a long range missile and the agni failed again and again which was a tremendous source of embarrassment to dr abdul kalam but he persisted And in 1985 when the agni was successfully launched India joined the elite group of six nations with technology for long distance guided missiles Dr Abdul Kalam became known as the missile man of India He said he took his inspiration from Barbarik Babrisan of the mahabharat who used to possess only 3 arrows in his quiver and would send them with guiding ability so that after hitting the target they would return to the quiver later on in 1992 pakistan made known to the world that it was developing nuclear technology with military intentions and it became extremely imperative for india to prepare a counter operation shakti was launched again with the missile man dr abdul kalam as the pioneer of the project in 1998 india succeeded in detonating in the space of a few days five nuclear devices of successively higher intensities and announced thereby to the world that it possessed the ability to ward off and counter any nuclear attack upon its sacred territories dr abdul kalam subsequently was awarded the highest indian civil award the bharat ratna he said to his countrymen that my death should not be observed with a holiday rather work hard the dream i cherish is to see india as a superpower in the world dr abdul kalam's philosophy was that when problems besiege us we should refuse to be defeated and we must persist in the face of them his life was a blazing example so as we pray to the lord for inner strength we realize that the biggest problem in facing problems is the negativity we start harboring within ourselves